Hi everyone, Donna Christick here of Law Firm SEO. And this week's podcast is going to be reflecting on the year 2020. Okay, so as 2020 winds down, we're going to try and wind down strong, okay? Set ourselves up for a successful end of the year. So in reflecting on it, let's go on things that kind of took us out of our comfort zones things that we weren't used to, but things that we got used to because we wanted to thrive, okay? And even not just get through the year, but thrive and, and, and even succeed, okay? So, Zoom, a word a lot of you never even heard of before this year. Uh, during the year, it became a daily thing, okay? If you wanted to um, have discussions with with, with uh, clients, potential clients, colleagues, it had to be via Zoom. And a lot of you I know in the beginning had a hard time with that, but you learned how to do it, you got through it, out of the comfort zone, but you made it work. Okay, great. Next, remote court proceedings. Okay, that was, that was a blow for a lot of you, I know. We got, I mean, who would have ever thought, but we got through it, okay? Um, not being able to take the bar exam. I think that was really a biggie um, for law students. They did the work. They had the education, um, the money spent, the time spent. They did it all right, got to the end, and what was there? Couldn't even take the bar because of, of COVID restrictions, not being able to go into a group. Okay, so that was really tough. Uh, hopefully you were listening to my podcast and reading my blogs. Um, I hope that you listened to the great interview I had with Lee Perlman. You can link to it in my notes below. He had so many tips for those of you who are going through this time of not being able, of, of being almost a lawyer, but not being able to take the bar exam. Um, working from home. Okay, that was, that was rough. Um, not only did we have to establish our workspace, okay, this, nobody comes beyond this door, okay, or beyond this recording room, but uh, we had to do that. And we also had to uh, be teachers with our kids, okay? Yeah, they were doing virtual class via Zoom, but a lot of them were too young to set themselves up. A lot of them who were older needed us to keep them going so they didn't just cut, uh, hide under the covers. We had to keep them going, so there was that we had to get used to. Um, being home 24 seven with the family, spouse, children, who all knows what, what that encompassed. That took a lot of us out of our comfort zones. Some, I mean, I kind of liked it. I didn't, I like being with my husband and my family, having them around, but I know that a lot of people, it caused tension between spouses. Um, you're trying to get work done, you are used to suiting up, grabbing your, your coffee and your suitcase and, and going to the office. For a lot of us, there was no office this year, okay? It was Zoom, calls, everything that we talked about with the Zoom and the no office. Business on top, casual on the bottom. I have my sweatpants and sneakers on right now, but I'm business on top, okay? And we're still getting through it. I mean, uh, if you've been watching my podcast today, I'm in front of my, my bookcase in the library. Last week I was behind, I'm in front of the picture on the wall. The week before that, who knows? We're all trying to work it out and make this work best. We're thriving, okay? Now those are the things that we didn't have control over. But let's talk about the things that we did have control over. And believe it or not, there were some. Uh, getting our expertise content out there. Hopefully over the years, you have established yourself as an expert in your field. We continued to do that, getting our, 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 our content out there via putting our articles on our website, staying um, active on our social media, um, blogging, okay? Some of you even took something that you had control over and you went out of your comfort zone a little bit with podcasting. Um, I never recorded before this year, but I was like, well, what am I going to do? I have to get my expertise out there some, somehow. I have to share my knowledge. I have to teach. 
Um, I have to talk to clients and potential clients. So this is what I did. Um, and, and for some people, I, I, I mean, I had to teach you what is a podcast, how it can, uh, give you success in your business, how you can use it for your marketing. And, you know, I, I was happy to do it. That's what I do. Um, Asia's has a wonderful solution for you. If you are interested in starting your own podcast, this is the time to, uh, establish yourself as an influencer instead of as a podcast follower let's use this time well um okay so maybe you want to start a podcast that would be great um so that's how we have thrived during things that we have no control over and learned from them and continuing to thrive and even succeed with the things that we do have control over so next week we're actually going to audit our year of 2020. We're gonna take um, everything that we learned from that audit and we're going to learn how to have a successful and, and have a strong start to 2021. Okay, we're going to end 2020, which was not a very good year for most. We're gonna finish it strong because of all the things that we had control over and all of the things that we learned. Next week, we're going to talk about starting 2020 on the right foot and starting out strong because in my opinion, I don't think there's going to be this huge reset button we're going to be able to hit and say, okay, it's 2020. Things are going to be so different because 20, it's going to be, I'm sorry, 2021 and things are going to be so different. No, 2020 was bad. 2020 is going to be different, yes, and especially in our minds because we're all leaders, right? Influencers, not followers. It's going to be strong, but like I said, I don't think it's going to be such a big change. So we're going to have to take everything that we learned from this past year, bring it into this new year, and we're going to get through it even better than you ever thought before. So I hope you found this podcast useful. If you did, please share it with others who... Um, may benefit from it. Uh, subscribe to my channels, check in weekly. Um, if you need further details on anything I talked about today, please just check my notes below. And until next week, have a, a, a wonderful and productive week and I will see you next week. Take care.